Okay, thank you everybody for joining us for our second celebration today. Um, we're in the town of Diana, obviously, to celebrate um, the launching of our new wireless broadband project. Lewis County started working on broadband expansion about two years ago, and we had 4,200 homes and businesses that were unserved. By the time we complete these projects and the ones that we have on the docket for the rest of the year, Lewis County will only have 1,200 homes and businesses that are unserved, which is truly an incredible accomplishment and speaks to the team that we've built here in Lewis County. And I want to recognize uh, members of that team and folks that are joining us today. Uh, we have Olivia Patterson, Community Affairs Representative from Senator Mark Walzick's office. Uh, Crystal Loeffler is the President of New York State Homes and Community Renewal, which obviously was a huge funding um, for this project and has been great partners from day one. With her is uh, Haley Jimenez, from, uh, also from the New York State uh, Office of Home and Community Renewal. We're blessed by great leadership by the Board of Legislators, and uh, we have Josh Lefkowitz. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, some, some, some legislators are greater than others, so let's be honest. Gilding the lily there a little bit. So, uh, you know, for the Lewis County Board of Le Legislators, we have Legislator Josh Leviker with us, and uh, the Pride of Diana Legislator, uh, Phil Hathaway, is with us as well today, um, as well as Town Supervisor Zach Smith. Um, we also have to recognize our partners with the Development Authority of the North Country who have joined us today. Um, Lori Marr, who's helped us put on these events and has been with us from day one. And um, um, we also have uh, Michelle, um, who's going to speak in a bit here as well. So, um, <clears throat> with that, I will turn it over first to um, our very own Phil Hathaway to say a few words. Fine, Phil. Bear with me, I've been trying to work on being brief, and that is not my forte, but I, I really appreciate the effort of all, all involved with this. We, we were definitely underserved, and, and it's really going to help us up here, and we appreciate it. We, it. It's obviously a team effort, and good things happen when people work together, and this is a great example of that. And probably one of the reasons that it was successful is because I didn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> so, so that might be the key thing on it. But um, when, when you're in the hinterlands up here like this, you kind of feel left out. And if you're not in the shadow of the courthouse, you, you think that you're not con considered. And obviously this changes that perception this and and the facade program that has developed and, and helped us up here it, it's really made a big difference in our attitudes and and our our way of living and we really appreciate all the efforts that everybody did and I told Cassie I'd keep it at 23 words I think I did it did I Cassie over a little bit <laughs> <laughs> thank you I appreciate it So, you know, as Phil mentioned, this is truly a partnership. Um, this is a perfect example of a public-private partnership that works to deliver services um, in upstate New York. This could not have happened if it wasn't for our partners with the state of New York. It could not have happened without the leadership of the county. And it could not have happened without um, our partners at Hudson Valley Wireless and the private sector have stepped up big time um, to help us out with this project. And uh, they're the ones that uh, have, uh, you know, really stepped forward to put the equipment up on the towers. And um, they're the ones that are looking forward to working with all the residents uh, of the town of Diana to get them hooked up finally to um, broadband services. So with that, I'd like to introduce Jason Guzzo with Hudson Valley Wireless. Well, thank you. I'm Jason Guzzo. I'm uh, CEO, General Manager of Hudson Valley Wireless. And I, I want to start by thanking all of the partners uh, from the funding agencies, uh, New York State uh, Homes and Community Renewal, uh, federal partners, Lewis County, uh, Development Authority of the North Country, and the, the local towns and villages and the other stakeholders that helped make this uh, project possible here. Uh, this truly was a team effort, 
and uh, but we're very thankful to uh, to be working with uh, such a, a valuable team here. So when we look at different projects, um, what we try to do is we try to assess the needs of the community. And one of the things that we noticed with with this particular community is it wasn't just that service wasn't available. Uh, we wanted to be able to solve the available availability problem by uh, deploying services and uh, doing that uh, uh, at, at a rapid basis. But uh, affordability and device access was also an issue as well. So what we tried to do with uh, the programs that we put together was address all three of those components. Availability, affordability, and device access. Lewis County had helped us with the uh, access uh, by uh, providing access to the public safety towers, which allows us to be broadband to the constituents, and Dank provided the uh, connectivity for that. We're also working through the affordable connectivity program. We're able to administer benefits uh, through the FCC's program. And uh, some of the, uh, the, the broadband uh, services that we're deploying, uh, we're able to deliver free installation and we're able to deliver free uh, broadband service on a monthly basis. For people that qualify for that program, we're also able to uh, work with our partners at Microsoft to deliver uh, low-cost computing devices as well. So if you qualify for the program, we can get you a laptop for $11. So we're, we're pleased to uh, announce the launch of this program, and uh, with this, uh, we're able to bring uh, uh, make broadband available to 687 uh, homes and businesses in the area. So thank you, Ryan. Wonderful. Thank you, Jason. And before we cut the ribbon, uh, Jason's going to walk us through exactly how um, this equipment works and what the folks of uh, the town of Diana can expect um, when they sign up for service. Um, this project and really all the work that Lewis County has done to expand broadband access would not be possible without our partners at the Development Authority of the North Country. The Tri-County area of Jefferson, Lewis, and St. Lawrence County um, really doesn't know how special it is to have a public authority dedicated just to our development. Um, the technical level of expertise on the broadband side, coupled with their technical expertise on grant management and funding, has been truly invaluable to Lewis County and uh, you know we wouldn't be standing here today delivering this project if it wasn't for um, the Development Authority of the North Country and we've had great partners from day one one of those partners who's helped us with grant management funding and project management um, really she's kind of a catch-all I think at the Development Authority is Michelle Capone and I'm happy to introduce her to, to say a few words uh, on behalf of the Development Authority. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you for having us here today and I think uh, you know, I have to start by saying you know, I appreciate Ryan's comments, but I also have to say we're here today also because of the vision of Lewis County, the vision of their leadership, their management, and their staff to see that, uh, that there's needs here in these communities for broadband, high-speed, low-cost internet here. And they took the initiative and moved forward and utilized resources that were available through the state, through Homes and Community Renewal, to be able to make this happen. Um, again, back in the mid-2020, uh, uh, we approached the county and said to them, how would you like to do a study to uh, inventory uh, internet access and broadband access here in Lewis County? Uh, they said, sure, let's do it. So we did the study in 2021. They took those results right off, hot off the press and ran with it. Um, they become a model for other counties here in New York State uh, because of their commitment to their citizens, but also to have an even level playing field for everyone. And they took that information and made a commitment from their own resources to advance the development of broadband in these rural areas to underserved people. So I just want to say once again, um, congratulations, um, Town of Diana and Port Leiden. Uh, thank you again to the state, to Hudson Valley Wireless. The Development Authority really looks forward to continuing our work with Lewis County and other counties as well to provide broadband to rural communities throughout the three county region. And I just want to note that um, utilizing these CWG CV funds that it is really unique to be able to have a project caught within a little over 12 month time frame. So that says a lot about the county leadership both at the uh, board level, management level, and staff. So thank you again. So um, We've heard from some of the folks that uh, you know worked on the project, but we also want to hear from um, our partners here in the town of Diana 
who have been eagerly awaiting um, you know additional broadband capacity in their community and have been you know stalwart in their um, advocating for um, you know more investment in this infrastructure. It's important to note that this project um, between Harrisville and Port Leiden is adding over 600 new households that were uh, ineligible or didn't have access to broadband uh, in the past and we have another investment that's happening in the town of Diana with the New York Power Authority that will be complete in April um, that will add another 130 households that were not previously eligible for high-speed internet. So a lot of work's being done here in Diana, which is one of the more rural towns in uh, Lewis County. And so uh, I'd like to invite the supervisor, Mr. Smith, up to say a few words. Uh, again, just for everybody from the town of Diana and Harrisville, we're just we're overly excited that we're going to have the opportunity to offer different uh, broadband services to have high-speed internet. Um, I feel one of the things that we could see over the last couple of years is that um, in the modern world, you almost have to have the internet <coughs> to be able to live, whether you're working remotely or, again, if you want to stream a movie. And being in a rural community, sometimes our people living in the outskirts of the hamlet, they don't always have access to reliable internet and um, you know I appreciate everybody's time and effort to make this happen again thank you to the county for everything you did and thank the state um, it's greatly appreciated and um, we're looking forward to being able to offer different services to the community thank you Zach so to wrap up um, just some specifics as I mentioned before this project uh, will serve over 600 households that were previously unserved. The total cost uh, was $750,000, which was in large part funded uh, with assistance from the New York State Office of Homes and Community Renewals. We also want to plug today a separate program that uh, was launched through the Lewis County um, Broadband Task Force, the Ad Hoc Committee, which is free public Wi-Fi in all of the towns villages and hamlets of Lewis County. Um, we've got over 25 locations across Lewis County where you will have access to free Wi-Fi, parks, villages, fire halls, town halls, um, libraries, all across Lewis County uh, there's free public Wi-Fi available that is funded um, in partnership with Spectrum but uh, mostly uh, by Lewis County. So. Um, that's a project that we've launched, and as far as I know, it's uh, unique in New York State. But um, even areas, you know, rural areas like this, if we can't get out to your home, although we're trying really hard to, to get broadband out to every household that we can, at least you know you can come into town, you know, go to the library, go to the park, and have access to free Wi-Fi 24-7, which is a, a heck of an advantage for, for those communities. So with that, I would invite everybody who's participated in the project, anybody that uh, um, you know has been part of this to join us. We're gonna ceremoniously cut the ribbon here. Uh, and uh, But before we do that, Jason's gonna walk us through the equipment and uh, help some of the residents, you know, folks that are gonna be signing up for the service understand exactly what it is um, they're gonna be getting with their service. So we'll have everybody move over to that. <coughs> begin with a quick tutorial uh, fix wireless how it works uh, I'm not going to bore everybody but essentially <laughs> what, what we do is we pick up a fiber optic internet connection uh, through a development authority of the North Country and we deploy uh, our radio systems on top of the Lewis County Public Safety Tower so here's an example of one of the antennas that's uh, on one of the Lewis County Public Safety Towers so the fiber basically plugs into the equipment at the uh, shelter we have the antennas that are on top of the uh, the tower and that beams down to one of these fixed wireless antennas. That's an example of what would go on one of the homes or businesses that are subscribing to the service. That connects to an in-home router that we're providing to the, uh, uh, the homes and businesses. And that allows all the different laptops and uh, other devices to connect to the system. So essentially just give us a call. 
uh, we'll put one of these small flat panel antennas on the home or business and uh, install one of the routers to connect all the uh, devices, your TVs, your laptops, your uh, computer devices. So without further ado, there you go. Mm -hmm. Phil's got the honor. Mm -hmm. so. Let's roll this out of the way so you guys can right. back. Yeah, just so you guys can step in front of it. Okay. okay. Go ahead, Phil. Come on in, come on in, everybody. Should be going in the shower. Yeah, no, 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 no. Right. On this side. Don't cut this yet. You're right. right. <laughs> Are we ready? Yep. One, two, three. Oh. Also. Oh, yep. Jeez. <laughs> there we go. I hope it installs better than the. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Thanks so thank again, you everybody, everybody for coming.